Watch Dogs is set in Chicago, which is where I live, and I love my home. So, I thought it would be fun to do a small video series about the actual city that inspired the game's environments. But before we can talk about Chicago today, we have to take a look at its history. For most of time, Chicago was underwater, populated by trilobites and the Tully Monster. By the late Paleozoic, it had risen into a large swamp, home to Amphibimus, an ancestor of modern amphibians. Cenozoic Chicago saw a demographic shift toward mastodons and giant beavers. Then the people came. Colonial era Chicago was inhabited by the Illinois and Miami tribes, and used as a trading center by others. The name comes from the French version of their word Chicaqua, meaning stinking onion. So thanks for sticking us with that, really appreciate it. Stinky Onion Land, perfect. Later migrations brought in the Sauk and Fox tribes, and by 1720 the Potawatomi controlled the area. The first permanent non-native settler was a French fur trader, Jean-Baptiste Poit du Sable. He built a home at the mouth of the Chicago River around 1780. Today his approximate bust is on the approximate site. De Saab never sat for a portrait or was never depicted in his life. Every image of him is an artist's best guess at what a black French fur trader in 1780 might have looked like. Today he has a school, a harbor, a bridge, and a museum named for him, but up until the 1960s, most Chicago residents had never heard of the city's founder. I wonder why that might be. The Greenville Treaty of 1795 ceded six square miles at the mouth of the Chicago River to the United States. And now we're off to the races. Fort Dearborn was built in 1803 on that land, at what is now the intersection of Michigan Avenue and Wacker Drive at the end of the Magnificent Mile. The fort is most famous for an event in the War of 1812, the Fort Dearborn Massacre. You can probably guess how this story ends. Fearing an attack, 148 people evacuated the fort under cover of night. A few miles south, they were ambushed by about 500 Potawatomi, the same force they were trying to evade in the first place, who killed 86 evacuees and then burned the fort down. There's a plaque commemorating it in a pleasant park I like to walk by. They built a second Fort Dearborn after the war ended, and by then a civilian settlement had grown up around it and Illinois had achieved statehood. In 1829, the Illinois legislature commissioned a survey of that small town, and on August 4th, 1830, the plat was filed, which is considered the first recognition of a municipality called Chicago. The city was officially incorporated in 1833, it took about 50 years to go from a fur trader and his family to a brand new city of 350 people. In only seven more years, the population grew to over 4,000. Come back next time when things are gonna get hot.